and then they'll be hi everyone I think I might be live right now but you know I never do this so I might be wrong am I live can you see me can you hear me anyone nope 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 pardon me oh I'm up do you see if I'm on Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I guess I am. Okay, wait. Can I ask you one more question? Yeah. <laughs> oh. There you go. Okay. I'll make yeah, sure okay. Everybody. Soul for sale. La, la, la. Hi, sure, hi, everybody. I'll make sure everybody in the other room gets the link to this chat. Okay. Back. Cool. Hi, babe. Thank you. Hey, everyone. I haven't went live in a long time, and I always say that I'm just going to be live for, like, 15 minutes and that and that's why I name <laughs> sometimes I name these as like just a quick chat and then it ends up being an hour and a half and people are like oh you lied so I don't know how does how is my um what's this it's audio how's the audio is it okay for sure yeah hey Jen what do you say to guys who do want a long-term relationship but are having trouble finding someone <sighs> then I'm sorry that question was me and then a shit ton of Z's. Jennifer, you're scary. Got it. Um, you know, when I did a couple of months ago, I did the, hmm, I don't know what you'd call it. I, I offered myself to talk to my subscribers for one hour. So I talked to about 70 of you and it was, it was actually really fun. And it, because it was fun to get to know my demographic, but <laughs> But everyone that was single was like, how in the hell do you meet someone? Because it was hard before, and now everyone is afraid, you know? And, and you're supposed to wear a mask and not look at people. So what do you do? I don't know. I Do you wear a mask? Me, Z, 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 Z. Do you wear a mask? Because I'll tell you, I know some people. It's us that don't always wear masks. Ah, I know everyone's mad at me now, but we go up to people at grocery stores that are not wearing masks and talk to them. And we've had so many people over for dinner who aren't wearing, just to like talk to these people about their thoughts on what's happening and, and everything. So that might be, that might be an idea, but I would say I, like if I was a single guy, it might be a little bit different if, I just went up to people that didn't wear masks and asked them to come over to my house for dinner. So there's that. I miss the old angry boss says I miss the casual dating age. <sighs> okay. I, <clears throat> I have a question for everyone. It goes like this. Do you think we will ever go back to normal? Do you think we'll ever go back to not wearing a mask? Yes. Yes. You think that we'll go back to normal? No, you don't. I don't think we'll ever go back to normal. Zosha. This is Zosha. Do you think that we'll go back to it? Message deleted. What were you going to say? Nope, no mess. You, so you think we'll go back? Um, yeah, you're clearly seriously coming. Oh, Tommy Laren. Someone, Albert, uh, not a retro, said that him and his dad couldn't stop laughing at the Tommy Laren rant. You wouldn't believe how many people were, like, so mad at me because they thought it was... But I was really friends with her and I was backing her up. That was that was funny. Uh, it depends. Yes. This is a new normal, babe. Sorry. I agree, JT9000. Yeah, me too. I don't know. And, okay. 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 So we're supposed to be talking. This is the commenting on comments about the shame video. Did anyone here watch the shame video? Um, I have heard the phrase shaming language. <laughs> oh my God. Often. And I just have never th felt that even when people are trying to be mean or trying to 
evoke some type of emotion in me. I, it usually doesn't work. I find it more amusing, you know? So it's, it's, it was interesting to me that so many people were provoked by someone else trying to, trying to get them to feel shame. Um, so I picked out a couple of the comments I thought I'd go over. There was a lot of good comments. I didn't, I didn't choose many. I'm sorry about that. Um, okay. Sorry. I'm reading. I'm not that good at this. Um, I don't see us coming back from this for many years. The fear is too great. I agree. Your sarcasm. Uh, shame is a powerful tool that should be used. That should be used often. Yeah, and that's the other thing. I think people are always constantly shaming people, you know? Um, that's how people also tell other people how they should successfully maneuver within society. Um, I just don't really... I don't really care what people think I should... I don't really care how people think I should maneuver, you know, like a lot of people disagree with who I am in general, but it's never bothered me. So, <laughs> okay, so I have a couple, uh-oh, here we go, a couple. Okay, so there was one guy named Benja Fernandez, <clears throat> and he said, I think this is a lot similar to homophobic speech. I'm gay, and when I came out years ago, I was not ready to call myself gay or homosexual or a man who likes men. So whenever a friend or a loved one said those words gay, homosexual, etc., I felt attacked. I started to believe the rhetoric that everything is homophobic. It wasn't until I finally accepted the fact that I was gay and started to love myself when I stopped seeing homophobic speech everywhere. I think, close the original live stream if you can. Hold on. Um, I think that I'm very sorry about this. That's so sure. She's pissed at the cat. So, so, uh, Dale, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to close this. I might disappear. Oh my God. Am I still here? So I think sometimes people are not ready to call themselves a label, even if it's appropriate. And then when someone else kind of beats them to the punch, they get upset about it. Like if someone calls me lazy and I am lazy, they've just beaten me to the punch. They've stated a fact, you know what I mean? So, so I really liked his comment because he, he, he had reflected, you know, Oh God, sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's my, that's my opinion on that. Boomer stream. I don't know what that means. I think that means I'm old <laughs> and there's people here. So I'll go back to, I'll go back to some of the comments from the, the shame, but does anyone have any questions or want to say anything to me, to my face? Um, yeah, I'll tell you a couple things. I have this swollen gland. And I've had it for about nine months and my doctor didn't like it. So I had, um, uh, an, e no, when you have a baby sonic thing, right. And, and they measured them and they didn't like it. So I had it tested and it was benign and my throat still hurts. So I went to an ENT and now I'm waiting for, um, I had a, a CAT scan. Is that when you lay down and it goes and you go into a machine? They're going to see if they see anything here. I don't, 10 bucks. Thanks, Ron. So I don't know. Um, does anyone, has anyone ever had a swollen gland and a sore throat for nine months? Who's still alive to tell me about it? Um, Ron, sorry if this the f offends the normal chat guests here, but with the country split 50-50, we are closer to war than masks for your, uh, again, sorry if this, if this is counter to your thoughts and viewers. I don't care what you, you can say anything. Yeah. Isn't it though? And do you think, Ron, thank you. Thank you a lot for that. Do you really think that it's split 50, 50? Cause I'm against the masks. Um, and I feel like I'm in the, in the, in the 20, in the 20, 80 split. Or do you think it's 50, 50 goiter? I don't know. No lymphoma. No, but Carly Ellison, 
Carly Ellison, I think you were... So, Carly Ellison, hello. Um, it's not lymphoma because they, they tested it, and it's benign. So that's interesting. But I think when I did my MGTOW video, I think you said that I had unleashed the gates of hell or something like that and the demons or something. So I was like expecting really, really bad stuff. Was that you? And then I hearted your comment. I swear to God, I think it's you. Um, and you said no one's ever done that before. And then you deleted your comment. Was that you? Isn't that weird that I can remember that from a year and a half ago? Okay. 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 Carly Ellison. Good. Yeah. Um, hit the thumbs up. Nicholas, thanks for reminding everyone. So, but yeah, do you guys think it's a 50-50 sore throat? Yeah, for nine months, no. Swollen glands can be a sign of toxic buildup in the lymphatic system. I used to go for these pathetic one-mile runs. I'm really bad at running. Really bad at it. Just for my lymphatic system. Isn't that funny? Um, Carly Ellison. Wow, could be. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think this, do you think marriage is worthless in this age? People seem to divorce super fast. Wensley Brands asked me what I think about marriage. I think, you know, I think it's super antiquated. Um, and I think it just depends on the two people. I, I love the sanctity of marriage. You know, anyone can have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but when you decide to call someone, when you decide to say th important things in front of people that you love to the person you love the most. I really like that. But yeah, people get, people get divorced easy. I think everyone's different. Um, do, 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 do. 227 people here. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, I hope you're making a lot of money grifting the political right, Jen, because the manosphere is degenerates that will always resent you out of insecurity. That's the CBP channel. Yeah, you know, I think some of them don't don't like me. Um, I think some of them think I'm fake. I think some of them like me. You know, the thing is, is if we say that the manosphere is this belief system. And that's what I said when I spoke at the 21 convention, when George Bruno uh, interviewed me. I said, to me, the, the right, the manosphere, whatever, isn't, it's not a trademark on truth, you know? And it seems like a lot of people, seems like a lot of people will say, here's some true things. Now here's what you do with it. I want you to, Okay. But that's, that's absolutely ridiculous and bossy, tyrannical. I think that there is a ton of individuals within groups or, or <sighs> I'll just say groups. And when they have the truth, the beauty of it is that they are free to live however they want with that information. So so there's that. Oh, I got five bucks. I live in San Francisco Bay Area. If you don't live on the coast, you have no idea how crazy the, the sheeple are that live that live here. I don't know. I had never been to California except for last month. We went to L.A. for a wedding. No, we flew into L.A. The wedding was out in a different place. And um, the people were, were fine. But you know what? I, I, I know that it is a certain type of personality, right? Um, that's what culture is. You know, I feel really bad for, you know, someone asked me before about dating. I feel really bad in particular for the men. Um, someone on Facebook said that abortion and birth control has, has really increased the object, the objectification of women a man said it and a woman, well, many women, but one woman was like, you can't speak on that because you're a man. All right. So she didn't refute anything. She just said he couldn't speak on it. Also, he was wrong. And she gave no, no backup. You know what I mean? So I said, well, I'm a woman and I agree with that. <sighs> Whatever. We had a, a small exchange, but, but people are really brainwashed. 
someone very close to me thinks that most people are stupid. I disagree. I think if you look at IQ, most people are similar, but the brain is so malleable. You know, I mean, I always say to everyone that listens, watch what you buy because you'll watch what you buy because you'll sell yourself anything. So if you consume too much information, you're going to start thinking in a certain way. And the people that don't think like you are just going to think you're stupid. Okay. And it seems like the more women that get into this feminist way of thinking and who attend college come out not being able to think and just thinking that they're oppressed and men should shut up and protect women while they demonize men. Whatever. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did see the Pacific Ocean, but just like for a second, like, oh, there it is. I'd never seen an ocean in America because I've only ever been to, to Asia. Did a lot of swimming in Asia. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Where's the cat? I don't know. Zipper, come here. She's coming. Uh, watch what you buy. I know, J. Anthony, 144. It's one of my little sayings that I feel really proud of coming up with. There's Zipper. Look at that. Very responsive. Cat, you asked, you got three books. Thank you, Roxy Lemon. You didn't want to say anything. Thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry I keep looking at my phone. It is rude. It's like if we're on a date and I kept doing that, I would want you to walk out on that date, you know. Chris Endermule, it's always good to see you. It's always good to see you. They think they believe the same thing as the professor who introduced them to socialism <laughs> makes them smart. I know that's the thing. Like, I don't care. Honestly, I don't really care if you're how you think, but you got to be able to back it up. That's the rhetoric. That's the trivium. Okay. Grammar, logic, rhetoric. I've talked about this before. Grammar, if I give you a medical book and I say, read it and tell me what it says, you won't be able to unless you're in the medical field. You'll have to first understand the grammar. You have to learn all the definitions and fully understand it. And then you can read it. Grammar, logic, you can read it and it'll make sense. That's logical. And then the rhetoric is when you can internalize it so well that you can explain it to someone else. And that's it. People just, and I've been guilty of it too. Um, sound bites. They're easy. I mean, that's rhetoric. That that Sound bites are usually from someone who's thought it through and given you some, some bullet points, and then you take those bullet points and you go on the world, but it's not good. It's not good. Um, does everyone know that I'm going to be putting out a video every, every Tuesday at two? Okay. Um, a guy named Michael tipped me off to the Tommy Laren video and he said that I should do a response video to it. So if any of you have any ideas, <clears throat> recommendations, suggestions, desires of things I should talk about, let me know. Let me know. Harvey Weinstein. Oh my God. Every he said, Jennifer, can you flash your feet real quick? Every live stream, I swear to God. Every live stream someone asks to see my feet. And I always say no. 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 Um, hello, 279 people. Hey, is anyone? Okay. I have an idea. I want to, I want to know you. Um, <clears throat> will you put a one? Will you put a five? Oh, Ron. Hey, grifting off the right. Like all the gals selling VA close-ups to soy boy on the left at only people. I thought it was only fans. Yes, it is gross. RQTEQ said that's gross. It's just a weird thing. You know that f uh, foot fetishes are the most popular fetish? It's like the gateway to the weird shit. Um, Harvey Weinstein. It's okay. She hit the wall years ago. Professor J. Stovall. Tell me more about, about that. You're talking about me, that I hit the wall. It's true. But tell me about it. Like, it seems like a random thing 
to mention, right? I know that there's something deeper. So what about it? Are you excited that that happened? I was just going to, oh yeah. If you're married, everyone, if you're married, would you put a one? If you are in a relationship, but not married, would you put a two? And if you're single, would you put a three? Daryl, Daryl Burrell, keep up the good work. Be rocking with you. Thank you. It feels nice when people <laughs> don't hate me so much that they support me monetarily. That's, it's nice. I've only ever donated. No, I've, I've sent super chats to, to YouTubers. I've, oh, holy shit. Here we go. One, three, three. Single, single relationship. Married, married, single relationship. Are you guys seeing this? Are you keeping up? <laughs> hey, uh, joke later. Oh, widower, she had the decency to die. Well, I do like the joke. Are you serious? It won't let you type only fans. YouTube blocks the comment. Really? Ron, that is... <sighs> Oh, uh, never mind. Okay, so so a lot of mix of people here. Um, I plead Tim Pool, troll with a purpose. Hey, troll with a purpose. Harvey Weinstein. You know, I met him. I I've told I told you guys this story before. Um, when Harvey Weinstein, wait, that's the guy that fucked everybody in Hollywood, right? Like, right? Anyway, when I was working at the restaurant, he, and this is when, when every, like his face was all over the news. Well, you know what I mean? It was a popular talking point. And he walked into the restaurant that I worked at and I waved at him and I was like, Hey, how you doing? And he like looked like this. And he said me. And I said, yeah. And he goes, do I know you? And I said, you're, you're regular. I've waited on you before. And he said, no. And I said, oh, well, anyway, it's good to meet you. My name is Jennifer. And I put my hand out and he said, my name is, it's good to meet you. <laughs> because if he would have said Harvey, you know, it would have all like, mm -hmm. actually, I actually don't know what he was thinking. I can just project that he didn't want to say his name because he was of ill re repute. Wait, is that how you say it? Repute? So anyway, I met that guy. The Jew that uses casting couch. Yeah. John Rampton. That's him. Yeah. There's, um, one of my regulars, awesome dude. I call him Dr. Love. He's a, a sex doctor. He works with couples. So anyway, he's that good where Harvey flew here and spent time with him. Anyway, it was kind of a boring story, but I still think it's neat. Who's the most famous person you have met and were they nice? I waited on Jewel and uh, kind of Danny DeVito and uh, some football player said I was the best server that he's ever had. And oh, Matt Castle, who used to be the quarterback of the Chiefs. Do you like football? Do you like football? Is it football season right now? What's the, oh, basketball. What do you guys think with, aren't the basketball players allowed to do like SJW-ish types of slogans on their, on their jerseys? Or did I make that up? If I didn't make it up, what do you guys think of that? Bill Clinton, he seemed nice. You know, I think in order to be a president, you have to be charming, right? I mean, that's why you're, that's why people vote is the charm. The masses. That's why the masses vote. Lackluster. I'm kind of famous. I would say kind of on the very low end. The very low end. Lackluster is my husband. And he has a YouTube channel. I wonder if you guys would like it. It's police accountability and government transparency. Wait, who was nice? Ledge Journeyman, and he was nice. I missed who you... Oh, Chuck Norris. Okay. 
I used to like Madonna. <laughs> I used to like Madonna. She got weird. I don't think that you can be famous. I don't think you can be really wealthy or really famous for a long time without turning so eccentric that you're just a fucking weirdo. I think if I got really famous, I would be really weirder than I am now. You have a husband. I do. Do you dance? You know, I used to dance. I like to dance alone and I really like techno. But uh, now I feel, now I feel like an asshole when I dance. Hi, Zippy. Um, you know what I don't like? I don't like, I just feel really self-conscious about my movements. I wish I could. I'm always really envious of people that can totally let loose. How do y'all know she's married? Oh, Dave, I, I just said it. I just said it. <laughs> um, oh, I, also this. 21 Studios put on the 21 convention at the very beginning of October in Orlando, Florida. And I was there on a press pass. As many of you saw, I interviewed four or five people, four or five speakers, four or five male speakers <laughs> from the convention. I, I cannot tell you how much I enjoyed myself. I cannot tell you how much I enjoyed myself. Like I said in, in the interview that I did with George Bruno, um, it's like, if, ha, have you seen the mountains before? Have you seen the mountains? If you have, oh, how do I say this? I can tell, if you haven't, <clears throat> I can tell you what they look like. I can tell you that they're huge, that driving through them, like leaving Vail or coming into Vail is crazy. And you're riding your brakes and they're just enormous. But you don't know. You don't know until you experience it. And that's really how I felt at this at this convention. Um, I got so much out of it. I feel like I learned. Well, the only negative was that I, I felt a little bit more masculine during the convention because I, I got so mad at feminism. Like, I already don't like it. But uh, Socrates did a speech and he showed um, the he, in his PowerPoint, he had pictures of these beautiful girls, beautiful girls who were normies. And I know that sounds like I'm saying it pejoratively, but I'm not total normies. And then they turn into feminists and they just ruined themselves. You know, like a lot of them got really skinny, shaved half their head, colored their hair, piercings. And it, I was so sad to see that. So, sure. So, yeah, next year. And, and a few people were like, you know what? Watch. Those people are weird. Um, and, I, and I respect that. The, the person that said that probably thought the people that were attending or, or speaking were weird. But I didn't have that experience. And I really wanted to see for myself, you know. Uh, also, I was, this was the first year that they did the 22 convention, which was a room for women and the men spoke specifically for the women. And I was a speaker. I was the first female speaker for the 22 convention. And I had so much fun. I feel like I did. <laughs> I feel like I did a good job. And when that video comes out, I'll definitely launch it. I started to cry during my speech. And that's stupid. Oh, well, I'm a girl. I'm a girl. The CBD channel, Jennifer, this anti-feminist stuff will destroy your soul. This, okay, here, here, be with me. The CBP channel, Jennifer, this anti-feminist stuff will destroy your soul. Will you expound on that? Um, Lackluster, will you help me see it if I miss it? Oh, good. Oh, Harvey Weinstein. We Weinstein. <laughs> Jennifer, uh, I discovered you through George Bruno. Despite my troll name and persona, I sub to you both because I love you and uh, because I love and respect you both and appreciate your content. Thank you. I like George too. George is fair-minded, articulate, and he assesses what he's going to say before he says it. I really like that in a person. Um, oh, here's a question. 
Jennifer, what do you think of truckers? I don't know what that is. What is it? What is a trucker? I recommend trying out drum and bass D and B. It's energy and speed in parallel, uh, unparalleled. Okay. I do like techno a lot. This anti-feminist. Yeah, I know, but we're watching Joker. Oh, okay. John, John Wentz. I discovered this channel from watching Joker. Let me ask you a question, if you don't mind, John. So there's been, there's been YouTube channels that have, have, uh, who really dislike me, right? And then, and then all of their viewers will watch a video about their breakdown of me and then they'll come to my channel and they absolutely hate me. The Joker, who's, who seems a little bit more even keel, um, and wanting to help people said that he thought that I seemed okay, you know, and he didn't really investigate any of my, any of my, um, videos, but he, he was sent, he was sent one of them. And then I got a lot of subscribers. Did you decide for yourself first? Like, I guess what I'm wondering is why some do you res do people respect the, a, a YouTube person so much that all they have to do is say good, bad, go, you know, and, and then people will agree or disagree. I've always, I've always been interested in that. Yeah. John Wentz, he, he does, he seems logical and fair. Uh, why don't people, why don't they like me? I don't, I don't know. The big, the big argument against Jennifer Molesky is that I pretend that I pretend. So does anyone have any questions about the, um, the 21 convention? I'll tell you what, in fairness, the price is, the price isn't cheap. It's like a thousand dollars, 500 or a thousand dollars per ticket. Um, but it was, it was so, it was so awesome. It was so awesome. Mm. Is it a finished attic? Yeah, this is a spare bedroom. And then there's another bedroom. Everyone wants to know about this attic. So I did this. That's where the ceiling is. Okay. And then it, it definitely slopes. Look how pissed off that cat looks. It's so cute. All right. Um, I'm going to do a couple more. You guys have to be so bored. I'm really sorry. Thanks for sticking with me. I want to say a couple things. Get that feminist blogger grifted money. Oh. oh, Troy Kaser. I'm, I'm brand new here. I searched YouTube for Friday and then started by live. Can you summarize what your channel is about? Anti-feminist, um, pro self-responsibility, anti-blame pretty much. I have about 70 videos. You could, you could check them out. Some people like me. Some people hate me. I don't know. I've, um, I've thought of doing that, but I don't know if I can talk quiet enough and I don't know if I'm supposed to whisper or if I'm just supposed to talk quiet. I don't, I don't know. Um, okay. I always have fun with you guys. <laughs> okay. Greg Owens. I love this new attitude. I was kind of blunt in my last video. My girlfriend, does anyone sympathize with this guy? My girlfriend is currently going through, sh through shaming class. That's what I call it. That's what he said. That's what I call it through her employer. We were on a road to on a road trip and she was trying to give, oh my God, I'm sorry, trying to get me to see my white privilege. I took time to reflect, then explain that we are all privileged to live life in such a great country. Thus, we all have privilege. Therefore, now we are talking about degrees of privilege and who is the arbiter of ranking said privilege. I was not going to take the poison of shaming. Okay, so about this with shame. I said in my video that I think that shame 
is when someone causes you to recognize uh, a characteristic or a, or a pain unhealed, okay? And this is what I said to him. It seems to me that the the white privilege, the guilt that we're supposed to be feeling right now as as a white person is because there's actually no shame there. So they, they try, they rub for so long that they, that you're like, holy shit, that does feel, oh my God, there is something there. They have to create a shame. And the thing is like, like my special person said that he thinks everyone is stupid. I don't think everyone is stupid, but people are just, minds are malleable. And you get told something long and hypnotized, 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 shame, shame, shame. Oh, that's Sippy. This is Mrs. Zippy. She's a bangle, but I don't think she's an authentic bangle, although I paid authentic money. Because something about her, the dots here, they're supposed to be <laughs> different. Okay, what is this turning into? Um, guilt, the gift that keeps on giving. I have some things that I'm guilty for still. Like, like if I remember, oh, I can't think of anything now, but I know that there's some things where every time I think of them, I go like this and they're old and some of them are really dumb. Here, you want to hear my dumbest one? When I was like, I don't, a girl, a little girl, like third grade, my mom worked at a restaurant and she'd always walk home. And I'd always go to the sidewalk to see if she was walking down the street. And one day I totally thought it was her. She had the, the same walk. And I was like waving, waving for a whole block. I'm waving at this woman. And then I realized it's not my mom. I still feel embarrassed about that. I know that that's trivial. I'm just saying that the human mind is so wonky that I would still think about that and be like, oh my God. <laughs> Stalin and Hitler used that tactic to influence many. It's effective. That's why it's interesting. In my channel, I, I, you know, I tell, I'm surprised I have any subscribers at all, truth be told, because I tell all of you that you're not a victim. Quit acting like that. Get rid of the shame. Live your life. When most people respond a little bit better to, you're a piece of shit. You're a victim. How dare those people do that to you? You know what I mean? Oh, Jana, JT9000, are you asking me how I remember that? Because it's like, it's just these weird things. Repeat a lie often enough and it becomes the truth. Have you ever got, thank you. Thank you again, Roxy. Have you, I'm sure you have, ever gotten to a disagreement with someone about a memory? Like, oh yeah, when we went to Jay's house and that chick threw up. And they're like, no, it wasn't Jay, it was... Adams. You're like, no, I remember. And then you're, you're fighting memories, but you're both convinced our minds are dumb. I don't think we're dumb. I just think our minds are a little stupid. When's the last time you guys went out on a date? Do people go on dates anymore because of the Oh, art of free speech. Well, I know that you're awesome. You've been around for a while and you always have awesome comments. He says, many of us, Jennifer, are really big on personal responsibility. We abhor those who think of themselves as victim for, victims first. That's why we subscribe. Awesome. I like the, I like the upcoming videos that I have coming up. I think that you all will too. Do you guys want me to keep talking? <sighs> Am I on in the background or are you guys like looking at your screen? Background or screen? Background or screen? Background or screen? Trouble with the purpose dating with a mask. Oh, I took my wife to sushi the other day. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's my husband. You did. Just the other day. Thank you. It was awesome. They had sea urchin. They're always out of sea urchin and they had sea urchin. So I, I got that. Um, here we go. Keep talking? Okay, I will. Oh, the Durian Williams Show. 
subscribe. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been to your show yet. Um, oh, and I, oh, I have QWERTY. You're, you're an awesome, you've been around for a long time too. Um, our screen, 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 background. Looking at you. Screen. Start stripping. Now, if, if I'm not going to show my feet, you know, background. Oh, thanks, Harvey. I thought I saw the word Wisconsin. I thought I saw the word Wisconsin. Why would that be? Why would I see that? Because I'm originally from Wisconsin. It's just like when you have your name on a, on a paper and then you see your name because, because you're a narcissist. No, I'm just kidding. That's just what people do. I watch a lot of videos. I will watch a lot of videos that pander to the manosphere and it can get a little trite sometimes. I do agree with many points they make, but hypocrisy isn't exclusive to women. Well, no shit on that. Right? Most YouTubers, most YouTube users are male though. Yes, totally. You know what I've always wondered? Okay. Okay. Have you guys seen, um, I'm getting warm. Have you guys seen the famous Kathy Newman, Jordan Peterson interview where she says, so what you're saying, so what you're saying, so what you're saying, so what you're saying, so what you're saying. If you haven't, you should watch it. It's just so fun. But you know what I've always, and I saw him and we had a VIP ticket and I could have, I could have raised my hand and asked this question, but what, what I'm so interested in, and I think about this at least once a week as if I'm him, I think the biggest mistake he's ever made in his career is saying, gotcha. Do you remember when he said, gotcha? I think I would have loved to have seen how long she stammered and if she could have recovered, but by, by him saying gotcha, he gave her an olive branch, which is nice. And that's what you're supposed to do when you're arguing with someone and you're winning. It's to help them to gain power back, you know, so it's a fair fight. But, but, um, Kathy is so out of touch. Well, yeah, I mean, she, well, you know, no, no, how about this? She's so in touch with the masses. Huh? You like that one? So what you're saying is we should watch the video. That's it. That's it. Oh my God. See, we have another foot person. This is so weird. <laughs> Quirt of Larry, you've been around for a while too. You being married takes a lot of pressure off. That's funny. You guys are funny. Men are funnier than women because they have to be. Cause that's one of the ways you get women, right? Women just have to be pretty. I know, I know not just pretty, but it helps, right? He should have tortured her more. See, I think, I think if he would have just not said, gotcha, it would have been really good. The Pat ultra. Hello. Welcome. I agree with the gotcha stuff, but I think it actually escalated it and she conceded. Oh, good. I really think that she was not being aggressive, but just trying to be a devil's advocate. Really? Dexter, you really think that? Huh? I guess so. I mean, I guess she was being a devil's advocate, but she was just so bad at it. It's one thing to be a devil's advocate to what someone says, but it's quite another to be a devil's advocate to something imagined, right? Mm. What are your thoughts on the rhetoric and idealism of pickup artists? R. How did you nab that YouTube name? Just R. What are your thoughts about the rhetoric and ideal? Pick up, pick. Okay. Um, I think if you want to pick up a chick, it's helpful to listen to someone who's going to help you do it. If anything, for the confidence, if you believe them, you know what I mean? Like if, if you believe their advice and you go out and try it, you're going to gain your own self-esteem and figure out your own tricks. I think so many men are just afraid to talk to women. I think so many women are just afraid to be talked to. I think women are afraid to talk to men. Um, I say just expect, expect to be, um, uh, oh my God, um, rejected, expect to be rejected and then 
have that be the goal. And then you win. And then you start to not care at all. And that starts to become very sexy. Very sexy. Tell the foot requesters to go watch a Quentin Tarantino flick. Do they... Matthew... Mr. Matthew Mischinick, do you, do you, is, does he show a lot of feet? So I had a friend, I'm going to tell a story. I have a friend, um, he was one of the original four on, for my meetup, it's super smart. One of the top three most intelligent humans I've ever met in my life. I suggested his YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel to you guys about four months ago. I got like three likes. It doesn't matter. He he had like eight videos and he had a thousand subscribers, which it took me forever to get a thousand subscribers. So he was escalating well and he was supposed to be on my channel. I said, do you want to talk on my channel? I think that I think that a lot of my people would really like you. And he said, yes, I'm very interested in that. But I have to go to Texas this week because I'm on the National Guard for coronavirus something like this. I'll be back next week and let's, let's talk because I would really like to grow my YouTube channel. That was three and a half months ago. His phone is out of service. All of his videos on YouTube are deleted. Where, what the fuck is up with my friend? I, I have such an, a weird feeling about it. Two bucks. Oh, hey, pickup is all about repetition and good philosophy. I think you're right. Um, so what do you think? Is my friend dead? Did did he get killed? No, it can't be. Um, um, did he have to, was he forced to go on some special assignment? And then the government was like, oh, you have this channel that talks about like being a minarchist and in Christianity. <clears throat> I don't know. Art of free speech. No one has to be tall or particularly good looking to bag a good looking chick. Just so you guys know. Um, just confidence. Women like power, right? So do men. Men like power. <sighs> Meaning they like their women to be beautiful. That's a form of power. Women, of course, like good looking, but you don't have to be good looking. They like, because that's a form of power like I just said, for women, women or yeah, women like tall, big men. My next video is going to be about tall men and submission. Uh, but you don't have to be tall, but tall represents a power. You can be very funny. That represents a power. You're commanding people. You're forcing them to expel noise and, and air at your whim. Money is power. Um, leadership is power. Intelligence is power. There's so many ways. I see T. Vinny. I'm pretty blind, but I married someone way above me. It's awesome. That's awesome. What does she love about you? Why are you special? Why are you different than everyone else? Adventure Industries. That's what you you do, though. Expel noise. <laughs> I, I hope you don't laugh like that. That was just uh, an example. Jennifer, I subscribe because your perspective on how a woman should act to win and keep a man a spot on. Thank you. I agree. Women need to hear what you have to say. There's been much, there's been much toxic communication from women. No one is, no one is teaching. It's, it's the, it's a woman's job to raise her daughter on how to be a good wife. She does that by instruction and she does it by showcasing it. So, so the daughter can watch the relationship, see a happy husband, happy dad, and, and watch what mom does. And let's say mom cooks, then mom also pulls child aside for her childhood and says, this is how you do this. This is how you do this. But no one's doing that now. Now they're saying you can do anything you want, like be a doctor. Like me, I'm strong and independent. And then they see 
that mom's blowing off dad, and that's how you be in a marriage. That's just my opinion. Press one if you think people are actually robots. Um, that didn't work. I don't know. I don't know what this reality is. It's so weird. I think I might go. I'm really warm. I'm also really stupid. I cleaned the outside of my window yesterday. So I climbed on the outside and I was hanging out of my house and my abs are sore today. I should really start working out again. What do you think about mail order brides? I think it's fine. Someone wants to get married. Someone in the free market wants to get married and live here. Oh, I want beautiful. I want to live here. And then there you go. Bing, bang, boom. Just, um, what's it called? Prenup, 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 prenup. One man's way. How many women showed up for the 22 convention? Well, let's see. Hold on. 20? Um, how many men showed up for the convention? I don't know. How, 50, 60, 70? So it wasn't, um, I remember that was the first year too. But I mean, enough where I knew, I knew all of them. You know, it wasn't, what, what I, I'm trying to say, they were all familiar by the end of it. You know, well, actually everyone was. Male and brides are going to leave you after the time period. Maybe. That's why I say get a prenuptial. Truth seeker, bye. There's um, two regulars that used to come in and he was a doctor. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure she was a male order bride. She wasn't even that pretty. She was cute. No, she was pretty. She was all right. But, but anyway, I'm pretty sure that she was a male order and they've been married for ever, ever. They seem to get along. They're both weird. Tristan Rosario. Are you surprised men make most of your subscriber base? Not anymore. In the beginning, I was surprised. I really, I really thought that. I don't know. I really thought that, that I would get more, even if it was like hate, you know, at least to be thought. Uh, my hope was that I would be thought provoking. My desire was that. I would get pushback and that would generate ideas and ways to explain things, which would propel my content, you know, so I could always be making content to better explain my position and better defeat theirs. And that didn't happen. It has gone up, but <laughs> not a lot. Roxy Beckles. Nope, I'm here too. Roxy Beckles. Roxy Beckles. Is that your name? I th that seems like a really fun to say. Roxy Beckles. I would like to see you eat a hamburger on video. With my feet? Oh, now we're getting juicy. Mm. No kidding. Um, Des... Das Butado. If you want more women viewers, start doing makeup and and start doing makeup and try try like try that on your videos. I've actually thought about like trying to punk out people. I'm not pretty enough to to be um like to get clicks. You know what I mean? Because people want to watch a beautiful person put makeup on well. But I thought, wouldn't that be awesome to like in the middle? or even in the beginning of the tutorial, like scold them and, or not even scold them, but just like say, this isn't a, a makeup video, but if you want to keep a good man, doesn't matter about your makeup. This is how you do it. 
I thought that would have been fun. Lackluster juice. How about cheers? How about cheers? Oh, thought provoked by roadkill hats. Yes, NG. I was just telling my stepdaughter, otherwise known as my daughter, who is seven years old, that that I want to do that. She thought it was super gross until I showed her the awesome pictures. Now she's kind of on board. I even got the the thing. It's the big knife. Okay, I got really intense bags in case I... For those of you who don't know, I really want to find fresh roadkill and skin it and make things out of it, like hats or leggings, because it's guilt-free, right? It's already dead. Um, so I got the bags so it wouldn't stink. Well, I wouldn't pick it up if it was already stinking. It has to be fresh, right? So I put it in the bag. I got the, the intense gloves. <laughs> I shouldn't get pulled over is kind of what I'm saying. And a knife. The, I don't have that in my car. The knife that you ha that has two handles and it's like this and it's for skinning. I just don't have the, I could probably make one, but it's just like a board. It kind of looks like a cricket paddle. Maybe I don't know what cricket is. In my head, a cricket paddle looks like that. And you put the, you put the fur over, not the cricket paddle, but something that looks like it. And then you can easily skin it. But I don't know how to tan. I don't know how to tan things, but I would like to. Oh, we're, we're busy over here. Humblebee Farm. Woman fan here. Thank you. Like that you are, that you are wash and wear classy sporty. Welcome, ladies. I, I will say that when I did my, when I talked to my 70 subscribers, give or take, the women that I talked to were dope. Oh, my God. The women that listen to this channel are awesome. It, it was similar to the women at the 22 convention. You know, and I said in my speech, I said, it's a goddamn shame that <laughs> we all have to get in a plane and fly here to be in a room with other women who are against feminism. I know, I know, well, I know two. Wait. There's a woman I buy tea from who hates feminism. I really like her. And then a friend named Opal who doesn't like it either. Uh. Would she eat the meat or just use the hide? Liberty can. <sighs> All right. So, um... Just use the hide. And then I was thinking about cooking up the meat for dog food. I don't know. I mean, I would eat it. But not unless I needed to. I guess I would eat it like the first time to say I did it, to, to have experienced it, to know what it tastes like. But um, would you ever want to talk to your subscribers again? Yeah. Claire McDowell, I would want to talk to my subscribers again. I will say <laughs> I I decided to do that and I put it I, I put it up on my channel in the, in the community and I said, you know, you can I had a link to this scheduling app and we went camping. So so I I put it up and then we drove into territory with no service and and I thought I would have seven people that signed up and then I, I had like 30 and I was like, holy shit, like people want to talk to me. So I opened it up and I, I, instead of talking like to like two a day, I offered to talk to four a day and I extended it by two weeks and that's how I got the 70. It was a little stressful because I suck at zoom and we did a lot of zoom meetings. Roadkill could have rabies in it. How is rabies passed? Can you eat rabies? Can you eat rabies? I don't, I don't know. I never thought about that. Be careful with that meat as the event that killed, as the event that killed it may have shattered bones and other items. Okay, okay, I won't eat it. I won't eat it. No, no, no. I'll research more if I decide I want to eat it. Okay. What about um, blood freeze? So I guess he would not eat it. Saliva, I believe. Yeah, but like if it's cooked, if you cook 
Rabies saliva. <laughs> oh my god. We always end up talking about this roadkill idea, don't we? Always. Oh yeah, because I always go live. Oh, because we always hang out. Okay, so this is the second time it's come up. Um, okay. I always do this. I say, you guys, I'm going to go. And then I stay in there 15 minutes. I'm supposed to say cheers. I'm supposed to say cheers right now. But it's not working. Um. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Joel Reyes, reflect. There's a philosophy. The key word was reflect. Uh, number one, there's a philosophy I live by. Number one, no, no one is able to see themselves in full view. So what others think, so what others think, it might have a grain of truth, but they themselves are not able to see me in full or see themselves in full. So what they think might be influenced by their own view on themselves. Whew. Number two, I believe that if there is something that annoys me about you, then it is something I need to improve in myself. For example, I got angry with a friend because he was doing drugs and almost died. I started to rant on him about how he was wasting his life and he is going to die. In mid-sentence, I realized I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to myself. I've been gaining weight since the virus and in a way I'm killing myself slowly. Uh, I've been annoyed about it and I want to change, but it is hard to lose weight. So all that anger about him not taking care of himself was about me. Dude, right? I did a video called Demons something. I don't know. Is there a de I go like this. Is there a demon on you? And the reason I made that video is because I was at a friend's house and he was so bonkers. He was so bonkers and it, it really riled me up. And I, on the way home from Denver, so it's like an hour and 15 minutes, I was like, just like amped up. And I was bitching and bitching and bitching and bitching about him. And I realized that he wasn't there anymore. I wasn't talking to him. I wasn't going to change him. I was letting that influence me. I was, and I looked at my watch. I have this stupid watch that tells my heart rate. My heart rate was up. Over what? Over leaving the situation? Come on. Have some self-control, Jennifer Molesky. So I made that demons video. So, Yeah. Oh, Abraham Ben Medek, you should prepare your podcast because this is unstructured and boring. Bye-bye. I totally understand that, and I respect that. Um, it's funny, though. It's like some, some friends or some people have told me that I should be, like, like nicer. No, not, not on YouTube, but I should be nicer because I can hurt people's feelings. And I said, I'm not responsible for how anyone reacts to me. And besides, most people don't speak like I do. So, so every so often there's someone who wants to be like talked to truthfully. And those are my people. So I totally, I totally understand. Um, I don't think that you, and someone else said he's not bored. And someone else said, what a hater. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> no shit, but I ran into way more. I don't know what that means. Well, yeah, Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein, I'm going to bounce too, I think. I will make this No, fall. I was going to say I will make this more structured, but I think that if I said that out loud, I might not live up to it. And then I will have been a liar. So I'll probably just keep doing shit like this. Um, I want to learn how to share my screen. Cam only, display only, display and cam. What if I do this? What do you guys see? Is it really weird? What? Okay, what if I do this? And then do that. Can you see my screen? Whatever. Anyway, so I'll try to, I'll, I'll try to be able to, I'm not going to try shit. I'm just going to see what happens and I'll, I might change things. I might not, but you know what? If you have anything that makes you feel shame, 
what are you going to do? You're going to work on it or not? You're going to blame me? You're going to blame a friend? Blame your mom? Blame your dad? Blame yourself? Deal with it or don't? What a... What a fun group you are. I sincerely appreciate all of you. Okay? Um, thank you. And I will... You know, I'll see you next Friday. Okay? New video out Tuesday. I'm super excited about it. Whisper. And uh, you're going to like it. Or not. I don't know. But, but I'm super excited about this one. Tall men and how, and how a woman that wants a tall man or a taller than them man is wanting, is desirous of submission, of submitting. Okay? So... I might need your guys' back on that because I think that there will be people that hate it. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to end the stream and I don't know if it's going to work. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good day. Bye.